This is the Continuum Lab. I'm Jeppe, musician, maker and your host on this visit. Today's video is the first in a series about my main project here in the lab, the Open Horn MIDI system. But first, a short disclaimer. The Continuum has no end and no beginning. It represents the sum total of all knowledge, stretching from the unnoticeably small and to the incomprehensibly vast. So the Continuum Lab is not really a physical space at all. I think of it as a state of mind, like a mental leap of faith from the comfortable platform of the known and into the infinite ignorance, where learning is the only method of propulsion. Welcome to the Continuum Lab. The main project right now in the Continuum Lab is the Open Horn MIDI system, or OHMS for short. Um, and since the first few videos here from the lab are all going to be about the OHMS, I think I should just clarify some terminology first of all. The open horn is this instrument that I'm holding right here. While the open horn MIDI system is a broader category which would have to include some peripherals to the open horn as well as uh, various other MIDI controllers that I've built using similar concepts and principles as well as other MIDI controllers that I might build using these ideas in the future. Ohms then is simply short for open horn MIDI system and can be used to refer both to the original open horn itself as well as to the entire system. As far as the open horn itself, there have been uh, many different versions, some of them varying greatly in shape, uh, size, materials, and techniques used during construction, but uh, they are all essentially the same instrument due to the very well defined key layout and uh, sensor suite, and perhaps most importantly because of the custom open horn software which runs on the Teensy microcontroller inside. So it's this combination of software, hardware and the specific sensor suite that sets the open horn apart from other MIDI wind controllers. The features include saxophone-like fingerings, which can be customized from the menu, a hypersensitive and responsive breath sensor, pitch bend in the neck, double lip position sensors on the mouthpiece, a tongue position sensor, a small display with the full menu and access to presets, calibration and customization. And of course the biphonic playing modes which can be instantly accessed while playing. The body of the open horn is made from a dark bamboo and uh, the plastic pieces along the belly and in the mouthpiece are printed in PLA plastic. The mouthpiece specifically features food grade materials not only where it contacts the lips and mouth, but throughout the breath sensor. So all of this didn't just spontaneously happen one afternoon, obviously. The open horn MIDI system has been my primary obsession for close to five years now. And as you can probably imagine, I could keep talking about it for hours and most likely for days. But in the interest of keeping these videos kind of short, I'm going to stop this one right here. In the next video, imaginatively titled analog sensors, I'm going to give you a tour of the open horn mouthpiece and show you how it works. See you there.